A manager checks in with his ball club. Your stars are on display as minor league baseball comes your way on the show. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the Jackson Generals and the Birmingham Barons. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Harry Allen will be on the bump for game two of the series. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, you don't see a lot of guys that have five pitches, right? Sometimes it's hard to master even two or three, but if you can master five like he has, he'll be in pretty good shape. Now in the box, Galley Cribs, and we are set for baseball hey, here this evening. Down. The shortstop, Galley Cribs Jr. First offering on its way. Edge of the zone that time taken and ruled a strike. Guys, we take a look at the home nine as they take the field tonight. They've been on the skids recently, losers in seven of their last nine ball games. Yeah, Maddie, dropping their last game. Now they find themselves at 500 again. They got to find a way to get on a hot streak. You cannot continue to go peaks and valleys throughout the course of this season and ride that 500 line all year. At some point, you're going to have to take seven out of 10, eight out of 10 to get this going in the right direction. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Galley Cribs becomes the first out of the second. inning. The second baseman. In now, LT Tolbert. He had a Tolbert. couple of hits in that ball game last night. Here's a first ball pitch slider that. that just tails out of the zone. It's ball one. Right. One all pitch is a splitter in there, one and one. Weather not much of an issue tonight. A mild 65 degrees here at game time. Hey, come on, now. One out, nobody on. Outside, oh. two and one. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's hey, not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. And another foul ball. And this is heading for the seats and out of play to the left. No, and that's ball three now as it just misses below the zone. You can certainly tell at bats like this one frustrate the heck out of a pitcher. But you got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. Swung on in the dirt, strike three. And the throw is made to record the second out of the inning. Stepping in, Haven Smith. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Here it comes. Ball low. The 1 0. Bases are empty here with two men out. Fastball oh. runs in tight here, and it's two and one. Two and one's the count. Now a swing, and he gets him to pop it up. Rivera over to his right, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. So not much happening here in the top half of the first. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. So here's the cleanup hitter, number 12. A couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. Hernandez. First offering on its way. No, that missed. Oh, and that looked like the very definition of go, flailing go. there. Go. It's even at one. And it's one and two. One and two is the count. Now the pitch. Well hit, but also well foul into the seats and left. Here's another one, two. Got him. 
that's a pretty impressive pitch from a young arm like that. If you could spot your pitches there and advantage counts like one and two, you're going to have a lot of strikeouts and soft contact. Stepping in now, Drew Ellis. As he will take a look at a fastball in there as that strike zone expands just a little, it's 0 and 1. Setting him up inside as he swings and misses for strike two. Boy, so far early into this one, this guy's pitching really well. And I'm a big believer in body language. He's getting the ball. He's working really quick, keeping the ball down in the zone. And if you take a look at this guy so far early on, a lot of positive signs. He looks like he brought his good stuff in this one. Fouled off. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Well, his stuff looks electric coming out of the gates in this one, guys. That's five batters faced, four strikeouts. That's going to be a tough pace to keep up, but it looks like he has what it takes to work deep into this game. Standing in now, Dalton Pompey. Strike one to start the at-bat. The wind-up and the 0-1 behind 0 and 2 now. Hey, get him yourself right here. Nothing in two count and the pitch. In the dirt but swung on and missed. And that ends the inning. So they go down without a whimper here. On now to the bottom of the second and we are tied nothing nothing. So striding in Andy Yerzy 7 8 9 bottom of the order set to go here in the third. Yerzy. First pitch coming. Here it is. And he throws the fastball oh by him here. 0 and 1. Can't oh. find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. Yeah, that looked like a Nobody strike. But let me tell you, when you're staring at a big zero in the hit column, getting a call like that to go your way can feel like a big victory. Left fielder is on the move, whoa, whoa, whoa. and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. Standing yeah, in, right Lucas right Herbert, as he'll the get his first opportunity in this one. Herbert. Hit in the air down the right field line. And foul. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Swung on and missed that oh, strike two. two. Third inning, no score to this point. Now a swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes. So it's two up, two down to begin the third. Boy, that's the best pitch in baseball right there with two strikes. That elevated fastball. Every hitter thinks that, hey, they can do something with that. But most of the time, you get the result that you saw right there. A big swing and a miss and another strikeout. Into the box now, Ryan Grotejohn. This will take a look Ryan at a slider here that finds Grotejohn. the zone for strike one. Here we go now, let's go. Strike two swinging oh, just two. out in front of the slider. So back-to-back -back sliders for strikes. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three and that will retire the side. Make it nine straight here to start the ball game. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three, and we are tied nothing nothing. All set for the start of the fourth. Coming to the plate now, Galley Cribs. He was a strikeout victim to open up the ball game. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Lays no, off that, that time, and it's one and two. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Looking to punch him out again. The pitch. And that misses two and two. And two. Yeah. 
Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Another 2 2 offering. Over towards the dugout, but this one will get into the stands. And he'll finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first out. He's just ringing up strikeouts left and right. But what's really impressive to me, he hasn't walked anyone either. He's just pounding the zone. His stuff is dirty today. In now, LT now Tolbert. The second base. As the first pitch to him is taken low and away for Tolbert. ball one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Hey, let's go right here. Here comes the 1 0. A ball and a strike. One ball, one strike. Bases are empty, one man out. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. Popped him up. Rivera has a play. Mine, mine. And that's the second out of the inning. Ready now, Haven Smith. This guy is now still back. looking at a right zero through. in the hit column. Haven. Here's a slider to start things out. Looked at for one ball, ball one. No Two out, nobody on. Easy ball. take there as the off-speed pitch misses well inside. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Two one pitches, a fastball swung on and missed two and two. He is in complete command out on the mound today. He's got all four corners locked in, and now he's raising up. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Can't start any better than this. He's set down the first 12. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. The Barons are out in front here, two to nothing. Digging in, number 12. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. We're moving through the middle of this ball game right now. They want to get things going. How about trying to get some base runners on or at least get a base hit? They don't have any hits going into this part of the game. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but he's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Striding now in back. once again, Perfect. Drew Ellis. He looked Drew. to bounce back after striking Ellis. out his last time up. And a ball popped foul to the right side out of play. Hey, it's going to be guys. back to some serious tee work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. Taken. Now it's 0 and 2. 0 2. Can't say he's tickling around the zone. Those last two pitches were pretty much grooved right down 1 the 2. middle, but it didn't bite him. The 1 2. Hit out towards second. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. Digging in the switch hitter, Dalton now Pompey, back. looking to put the ball in play Dalton. here. He went down on strikes Dalton. in his first at-bat. High in the air out to center field. Mine, 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 mine. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Five innings have been no problem as he's got the shutout working. Last half of the fifth coming up. Birmingham leads this thing two to nothing. So digging in now, Andy Yerzy. He'll start Andy things out now in the top half the of the sixth. sixth. Andy. And Yerzy. that one's in ball. on the hands to start the inning. It's ball one. Hey. And a good heater as he just watches this baby, a ball and a strike. Drill down the line. Base hit, and they're into the hit column. Hey, Dero, it's kind of getting late early. That's only their first hit of the game, and we're into the sixth inning. Yeah, he, this guy's been on point all day, working it in and out. Their pitching staff obviously did their homework on this offense. But right here, able to break through with the first knock, hopefully the pass to baton mentality goes now into back. effect. And we get some offense. Lucas Herbert stands in as he can't connect here. 0 and 1.
from the belt. Kicks and deals. In there, and it's 0-2 now. No ball. Two strikes. And he punches out another one. Make it nine for the ball game. Well, it's been a rough series for him at the plate so far. That's four strikeouts in the first two games, so this pitching staff clearly has him figured out. Now batting, left fielder. To the plate now, Ryan Grotejohn, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The 0 1 on its way. On the ground to second base. This could be two. The second for one. On to first. It's a double play. As their woes continue, the inning is over. So another good inning for him on the mound. Six shutout innings now. Two, three, and four due up in the home half of the sixth. The Barons are out in front here, two to nothing. So the batting order right, turns over now. now and set to go. Galley Cribs. And guys, seventh inning already. Hey, I'm not complaining, Galley but this one's been Cribs. flying by. Yeah, I'll agree with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers no have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. First pitch swinging as this one's hit on the ground to second. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Digging in to try it again. LT Tolbert, third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Left side, but well foul. Yank the slider across that time, laid off for a ball. And there's ball two, two now. One out, nobody on. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Your ball, your ball. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Stepping in and ready now for back. another shot, right Haven two. Smith. No Haven. hits for him to this point, not yeah. unlike many oh, of his fellow ball. teammates. No balls and a strike to count. Lifted the other way to left center. Left fielder is on the move. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. At another zero as it's up to seven shutout innings so far. On now to the bottom of inning number seven. Birmingham leads this thing two to nothing. Ready for another shot now, number 12. We're in the eighth now, and nothing's changed out there on the mound. Well, I've been very impressed with how this starter's going about his business, Matt. He's looked really sharp, and it's hard to know no if it's had any strike. effect, but getting that early lead from his offense could have really helped settle him in. Oh, and, oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0-2, 1-2, and, and it's just about every at-bat. And when that's the case, your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse. Taylor is there, and he'll bring this one in. Stepping up now, Drew Ellis. He got on top of one and was a ground-out victim last time. First delivery to him on the way. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Fouled away. One down, one down. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. And he struck him out. So double digits now, 10 strikeouts for him thus far. I think we're starting to see the frustration mount from this offense. It's been a pretty dominant performance on the mound, and these hitters have had no answer for anything he's throwing up there. That will wear on you if it lasts throughout the most of the game, like it has here. Dalton Pompey. Here comes the first pitch. A shot to first base and caught there to end the inning. He's through eight with the shutout intact. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. The Barons are out in front here, two to nothing. 
Stepping in, Andy Yerzy. He singled in two trips to the plate the thus far. Faces. Andy Yerzy. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Here we go with nope. inning number ball. nine as the first pitch misses for ball one. <laughs> and he fires in a strike this time to make one it one, one ball and one strike. The 1-1. One, one. Two one. Can't connect there. It's two and two. Something that stood out to me in this game is the lineup's lack of a solid plan at the plate. Seems like way too many guys are. Uh, one sack is that ball is into the gap in right center. Should be good for at least two bases. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. That's exactly what they needed. Down by two runs. The leadoff man puts himself in scoring position with a tying run coming to plate. The temptation for the next batter is to swing for the fences and tie it up with one swing. But a base hit brings home a run and keeps momentum on your side. We'll see how he goes about it. Now out of the dugout comes the manager as he'll make his way towards the mound. And a change is forthcoming as that's going to do it for his starter here this evening. So as he departs he'll remain responsible for the man left aboard but he cannot lose this Ladies one. Gentlemen. Zach Birdie You're takes the ball now in inning number nine now looking to close the door. Number 62. Zach Birdie. Some more good work out of the bullpen as he notches his 10th save of the season right there. Nice job. This evening's game finishes 2-0 the final score. The Barons led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Harry Allen earns his sixth winning decision in this one, allowing only a pair of hits in eight full innings pitched. Josh Green pitched well, allowing only two earned, but ends up taking the loss. Zach Birdie hammers down the save, his 10th. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click over to theshownation.com.